to free her straight away, John went in search for something for the mama wolf to eat to keep her strength up. He came across the leg of a deer carcass and cut off a hindquarter. John knew that if he was ever going to free the trapped animal, he would have to gain her trust, and food was usually the best way to do this. It would take time though, something that John had plenty of. The prospector made a rough shelter for himself near the wolf family and was soon asleep. The next morning, he was awoken by four fluffy bundles of fur sniffing at his face. It seemed he had earned the wolf pup's trust, but still had a ways to go with their mama. Over the next few days, John split his time between prospecting and trying to help the trapped canine. He would throw her venison and would play with her babies, hoping to show that he was not a threat. Each time that the man would interact with the animals, he would edge a little bit closer to the trap. In the evening of the fifth day, John was delivering the female wolf's daily dose of venison when he noticed something encouraging.